get the dub, boys. Back to back wins for Blaine. Yeah. Welcome there, Bengals. This is Blaine's versus Painesville here for Valorant match. Preseason match one here. Let's see who wins here. It looks like Bane is going here for. Uh, well, FNAF lore expert is <laughs> only a Sage main here, so we're not really expecting him to lock in any other character. So what's going to be really interesting here to see Vibe and Liz's pick here. Because Liz and Vibe are originally duelists from last season, but we're going to see what they're going to look like. It looks like Vibe is going to be running Jet here. Sovereignty is going to be running Viper, and Liz is going to be running Chamber. This is going to be interesting here. Then again, Liz with the Operator, based off what we've seen during preseason and all that, this looks very promising for a team comp here. All right, we got 10. We got eight more seconds, and now we're in, Bengals. The match has begun. Painesville looking like they're running an Omen, Jet, Sage, and Cypher. Almost very similar comps here, except for Blaine decided to go here with the Chamber, which is a stronger pick for Split. Alright, let's begin here. Alright, what second now our ratchet has begun here? Looks like Blaine is full sending A here. Bus setting up as well to cover off smoke. Painesville putting down their omen. Smoke early into the match here. Looks like Blaine is taking full control of A site here, trying to get spike down Liz. No <laughs> Dirty Dan saving his wall here. Very interesting set of play here. Never mind, Dirty Dan's gonna be walling off screens or making sure that they can't get that flank on them. Pushing them elbow there. Cy Painesville Cypher's been spotted up there in heaven. And it looks like Liz is gonna be playing a very aggressive play on us around here, trying to hold up here balcony. Ooh, Liz are two picks here. This could be big here for Blaine. Liz almost with the 4k there to win the round here. This is going to be interesting here, Bengals, just based off what we're seeing this early into the game. You should become a pro caster tail. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm that good at this job, really. I just enjoy talking about the Valorant here. Alright, Blaine's looking under full setting A again here. It's going to be an interesting play here, thinking that, well, based off how this last time, we're seeing Painesville split up probably a 2-2 push here, but what happened there last round, Painesville looked like they fell back here waiting to take a retake on that site. But they poorly executed it by splitting up and pushing different angles, taking ones there, and Blaine being well coordinated there. That just looks very promising. Alright. Blaine already pushing on site, getting spiked down this early in the match. Jeez. Dirty Dan with the wall off here screen. And it looks like uh, Sovereignty is going to get picked off here early round. Liz almost with the pick there. Painesville with a misclick. Sage will. Jeez, that's really unfortunate to see there. FNAF floor Expert's going to be pushing. Getting picked off by Omen there, main. Oh no, this isn't looking good here for Blaine. Bivy here forcing to watch Cubby here. Do you think... Oh wait, he hears him here. Gets one pick. Oh, that's a second here. Oh, wait. Get possibility. 3K. Does he clutch us to win the round here? 4K, baby. Vibe, taking a 4K to clutch up the round here. Blame looking like the... Blame looks like they were about to really lose that match here until Vibe over here showed up and then got that 4K there to win the round there. That was crazy there. Now, it's going to be interesting here watching Blaine try and take B here because we've only seen them play A this map so far. So their strategy could be very different here because Blessed isn't, uh, Sovereignty isn't used to uh, playing Vipers generally based off what we've seen in the offseason and all that. 
so watching him trying to take the site with them is going to be very interesting. Cypher getting picked off. Lou's getting taken down by Jet. Sovereignty getting the pick on Jet there. Heaven. One enemy remaining. They have sight. Almost. Omen's unknown here. Blaine is in a very interesting situation to take it. Now, here's the question. Does Blaine have enough coordination to lock down the site and making sure they can't put it? Because it looks like every team player here is just trying to make individual plays. Hey, we're playing, saying, with the power of friendship, I believe in you. Oh, wait, Omen getting the pick on Sovereignty here. This could be really big for Blaine here. Now picking up. Oh, wait, this could be really bad here for Blaine. Now, depending on how he retakes the site, this could be very interesting. Depending if he wins or loses this round here, Blaine, I'm going to do a 3-0. Based off what we're looking like here, if they don't win this game, their economy's not looking so high here. Other than Turtles. And Blaine taking it for a 3-0 lead here. Vibe going 6-0. So, looks like here that Painesville over here, not looking with a strong economy here, not looking. So, they're going to probably have to save here buying for next round, which is forcing them to lose the site. Because Blaine's going to have enough economy to force themselves on a site with decent weaponry here. With FNAF or Expert having over 7 grand, this could be very detrimental for Painesville here this round. But Blaine only having two rifles here and two Spectres is going to be a very interesting push here. <gasps> Oof, and now Floor getting that draw out there from Heaven, getting his location up there, that's going to be big for them, knowing where they are. The open pick by Fnaflor. Uh oh, getting picked here, putting him down to 31, and with that Sage Orb, it's going to be very bad for them. Vibe up here shooting Heaven. Damn. No picks that. Looks like FNAF Floor here is going to try and at least wall off main. Leaving them only two ways to push yourself on site. Vibeka. Getting one heaven. Now having his alt ability here. It's going to be very interesting to see how Blaine here. It looks like... Painsville is over here. They're going to try and get some off picks here as they rotate off site here. Based off what they've heard, they know one's around here. Yep, there he is. They tried. Swing and a miss though from here. Painsville leading them into a 4 0. But Painsville, they're going to be able to buy this round. Two of the players are at least. One of the players is looking a very poor economy, and the other one not so hot here either. Blaine, though, leading off 4 0. Strong economies, all rifles. This is going to be very interesting to see how Blaine plays it from here on out. Here? Sovereignty knows lineups. This is going to be interesting here to watch how he plays this here. Where it lands, because we're yet to see this lineup from him. Covering screen. That's going to be a big lineup there for Blaine. <gasps> Sonic getting the pick up their heaven. Sonic here controlling heaven here, but it looks like Painsville over here. They're forced to save this round. Seeing with that big and Bucky. Lays with the operator shot their heaven. Now, fortunately, though, with Fnaflor, he was able to get a Sage Ball down, which limits them to three open areas here. Vibeka trying to get some shots here, Mitch. Seeing that Jet getting hit for 5 HP. This is not looking here so hot for here for Blaine here. They found my trap. Blaine trying to rotate off site here. Just to hopefully make it out here with a couple of weapons. Getting that pick down there. Oh, no. And leading everyone to die here. That's, well, not looking so, I mean... Blaine's economy can recover from this, but it's not looking so promising here for Painesville. Because if Painesville were to fall by here, this is going to leave their economy in mass dead here if they decide to buy rifles or anything. But Blaine is able to buy rifles and have full recovery for next round, too, after that, too. So it's going to be very interesting to see if Painesville buys here and make sure they have enough for next round to, you know, win and lose.
But based off what we're seeing, they look like they've been trying to save up for the last couple rounds just to have a fair round here with all rifles. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Omen smoking off main here, already having a basis of where they are here, placing down some utilities right off the bat. Lewis pushing himself outside, getting picked down by Jet! Looks like Blaine here is going to try and back off here just because they know they have that site there. They have three, based off what we've seen, we they know they at least have two people on site there. Liz trying to watch in mid control here. Sovereignty just making sure no one tries to flank here. See if they get aggressive, of course. So Naffler following up Sovereignty here, making sure if he gets picked, he can at least have a trade here for him. This is going to be very interesting to see how Blaine plays this here, knowing that they're in a really tight situation. Looks like Blaine here, they're going to try and force their way onto the site here by playing quiet. Oh, aside for getting the uh, info on them. Dirty Camp being short a wall too. This isn't looking so high here for Blaine here. Liz, and then Sovereignty all thing. Oh, this is going to be very good for Blaine here. Liz getting picked off here in the smoke here. Sovereignty getting the pick down. FNAF we're getting the pick. Sovereignty just to kill off Turner here to finish off the round here. 6-0 leading in to the first half. This is looking very promising for Blaine here. With Painesville economy not looking so hot here, this is going to be very interesting to see how they play this round too. Looks like Blaine here is trying to take heaven control here just to get on site here. Looks like Blaine has taken full control of Heaven here. Liz placing them down that slow orb just to see if, you know, if anyone tries to play there. Dirty Dan gonna wall off screens here. Vivica taking down both on Ace, Ace site just to take full control of the site there. Liz taking the control on Jet there. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens here for Blaine. It's going to be very interesting because it looks like Blaine here has every cover. <gasps> Vibica getting information. Getting picked down by their... Ooh, Cypher. Looks like Blaine here is trying to aggress them. But looks like Cypher is going to try and you know play back here and just get that rifle and save for next round here. Looks like he has no interest in taking any fights right now. Sovereignty hearing him. Sovereignty getting that pick there, making sure Burnsville has nothing to show for that round. Really unfortunate to see that. Burnsville saying, my skin, XD. That's really unfortunate. Was I think they had one of the tree skins there. One of the newer skins released to Valor here. It looks very nice, very visually pleasing here. Best skin, no cap. Tree equals everything. Really unfortunate to see there for Painesville that they weren't able to just save the tree skin. Hashtag save the trees there for Blaine. Look, Vivica just playing very aggressive on the site here. Checking heaven. He sees his gun there peeking through the smoke. Now, does Blaine do anything with that info is a different story. With the enemy Sage walling off main here, this is going to be very big for Blaine. Because that's going to force FNAF to go through heaven to get Spike on site. Which is really unfortunate. Unless he tosses it over and tries to pass it off to Vivica. This is not looking so good here. Getting that pick there. Vivica dropping the 2k. Do we see him get a 3k here this round? Sovereignty clearing spawn here. And Vibica finding the third kill there to take the round here. 8-0 leading in the first half. Blaine... This is this is bullying. 
We love to see it though. Blaine. Well, we don't know yet. We're not out of the smoke here, but for all we know, there's still a very possibility, tiny slant, that Blaine might have a 9 3 curse, but that would mean Painesville would have to go win three rounds and Blaine would have to win the next round. And Painesville surrendering. It's unfortunate to see that. Looks like Blaine just leading very strong in the, well, the first preseason match at the 4-4. You hate to see it, but... Yo, be good good game, guys. Good game. Vibica leading 13-4. Tez leading 7-8. Yeah, yeah. Have fun. Sovereignty going 7-3 is Viper. Very yeah. promising yeah. leading for the preseason. Liz going 6-5. FNAF Lord going 3-2 yeah, 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 SH yeah. here. Come visit. Vibica, though, with that big first game, yeah, yeah. that was very promising to see. All right, yeah. This is why I don't play GG, save. All right, well, okay, thank you we, for everyone who tuned in we here. We forced him to play save. <laughs> 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 to be honest. And I'm going to stream here. Everyone have a great rest of your day. Rats.